Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Darkest Dungeons. So last we left off, we had just killed the Prophet here, and our inventories are just about stuffed to the max. Uh, but if there is anything left in this dungeon to find, I have the will to find it. So, yes, let's go ahead and explore the rest. This will also give us a chance to probably de-stress as well, ironically. Because uh, our jester will just jingle, jingle, jingle his way to happiness. Um, let's see. Trap disarm. Go with a sh close to surefire thing in 90%. Dismas probably could have done better, but... Uh, uh, Defey needed some... Uh, some... Um, you know, stress relief. So, uh, so here's the thing. I can let the, light this thing on fire for more torch level, but I don't really need to do that because that would not actually benefit me at all. I would lose the potential. Um, or I could try to loot it. Uh, golden gems are usually what it yields. Or blight. I'll risk the blight. Why not? I'm going to risk it with... Yep, okay. I was going to risk it with this moss because he has the most health. Now, if I had medicinal herbs, I could have uh, cleansed it, and it would not have blighted me. Now, another thing I have to consider is I have two people at Death's Door Recovery, uh, which means that they are limitedly useful. They have penalties to accuracy, damage, speed, and extra stress. So I gotta be a little cautious of them, more so than others. So what I'm aiming to do is to hit up some of the curios that are left around here. The ruins don't have the coolest curios compared to other uh, spots, but um, you know there might there might be still some stuff I can overturn. Uh, usually this has trinkets and gold. Yep, and it did. Oof. Let's see here. I could perhaps yeah let's go ahead and eat the food and take the ruby all right so there's a fight here good they're surprised I was trying to light up a torch but it didn't really work Ooh, crit one of the hidden ones like that I'll work for me Some party comfort, get us out of the uh, low level, low health, rather. Uh, as much as I would like to do some stress relief on myself. Annihilated. I think it would be better if I uh, brought them down to one enemy. And now I can mess around with this one enemy uh, to the point where he isn't able to do anything. So I'll just have my characters dance around a bit, do some stress, get some heals, and be way better off than I started this fight. I don't care that you're stealthed at all. Oh, and there you are, but again, just gonna waste some time here. Alright, that was the last bleeding that he's going to take. Ooh, big crit. That'll be nice. Everyone's almost fully healed. Uh, so let's just end this. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And... Everyone's fully healed. There's food. I think what I'm going to do is... In radiance, Throw the rest of my torches out and grab victory. the gold. Because uh, I'm probably not going to spend that much more time in this dungeon that I'll need torches. I'm uh, not going to explore everything. I'm just going to get... 
just a teeny little bit. Alright, so here is a locked cabinet. See? Wonderful. It all worked out. We get another ruby. And another boss fight. I'd like to try to stress relief as much as I can. Nice. My light level's back up. The reason for the stress relief, I really don't want to pay for it. If I can help it. Aw, oh, bummer. I was really hoping that that was a death blow, but that's alright. Just murder all of them at once. Alright, well that went so smooth. I might, I was planning on that being my last battle, but, uh, I might keep going a little bit. What's in the box? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Alright, bye bye gold, home. hello portraits. I'm gonna backtrack briefly, and just head north, and this will be my last, uh, two, last curio, last battle. Or last two curios, last battle. Uh... Okay, I have nothing to eat. Hunger sets in. I was hoping that that wasn't going to happen. I'm going to skip the bookshelf, go straight to the battle, and then call it quits. Maybe do some stress relief in this battle if possible. Of course, there's two stress enemies here, so that might not happen the way I want it. Z's gonna start to tempt me. Yep, saw that coming. Decimated. I think it's all but certain that uh, this jester is gonna need to go into stress relief, so I'm just gonna work on everyone else's stress instead. Yep. Just keep tempting him. Alright, this last enemy I could just uh, putz around with. Inspiration and improvement. You can keep cutting Dismas, but uh, I've got a pretty good healer. A momentary abatement. I'm purposely just hitting the corpses to bring my stress down on everyone else. I should have done to Fay, but the holds much worse than since this is last battle, we'll snuff that out. Uh, again, probably gonna have to ditch some gold for the deeds, and a holy fountain uh, is really not gonna help us out here. Uh, it might cure some stress though, so nope. Handsome. Just some statues. Oh, and some emeralds. That's going to be useful. And quest complete. Lots of gold. Got the Hell's Hairpin here. Uh, which is almost certainly going to get thrown out. Uh, or sold, rather. And some heirlooms. Got the runs, cool. Bad healer, don't really care on drool. Misses the spot, not so good. Speed if, okay, mm, whatever. Not terrible. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. All right. Unfortunately, Acid did some stress relief in the bar, and now we'll never drink again. He probably drank a little too hard. Great. Alright, so Defey needs to get rid of the runs. Uh, as far as treatment wards go, well, first, let's do some stress relief. Drool here, you're gonna have to head to the cloister. 
And then... Hendry, let's get rid of Mrs. The Spot. And Lock and Luminous. It's expensive, but worth it. Dismas, you're fine. Bad Healer's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, you're also our second champion, so good job there. Checking the Embarks. We do have a... Kill the Hag. Or... What else could we do? We could push Warren's... Kill the Siren. But I'm not so keen on a protection ring. Push Ruins? Let's see the benefits of that. I guess I would push Warrens, if anything. Fresh air in the tunnels wouldn't be terrible either. So let's go ahead and queue this up. Um, so first thing, we're going to get all our trinkets back and sort by rarity. I'm just going to sell the hairpin because I really don't see myself uh, using it ever. Then sort by level. Uh, acid still needs some sanitarium. We'll get rid of the... Lagophobia. Unfortunately, I would have liked to field him in battle because he's one of the lower levels now, but uh, that's not likely to happen. So, the Warrens here, as a quick reminder, are... You can bleed them good. So, speaking of bleeding them good, uh, we... I would like to field my my bleeding heroes, but I'd, I'd rather level up some of the really low level ones. Um, so Lucy can make a comeback. Picket, Vitalis, and Emery. That's a, that's a decent lineup. Alright. Now before I actually head there, let's go into the guild here, and if they do bleed, um... Bleed resist. Who marks? We we can mark. The, yep. Okay. So we can mark. So Lucy and Pickett will have some um, some synergy here. Vitalis also has captivate. So that's some synergy as well. Okay. That's good. Um, <laughs> changing some skills around. We'll have double healers. I'll be fine, I guess. gonna make sure that their weapons are all the way up that's of greater concern to me than their armor for whatever reason don't ask me why I won't have any stress relief in this group so I'm gonna have to be careful about what I bring provision trinket wise that adds stress so instead I'm gonna add brawler gloves uh, swift cloak uh, vestal scroll and the occultist, huh? Uh, the cleansing crystal, so I don't bleed. Oh, uh, actually, you know, he's going to go on the attack. So. I'll bring the candle for you. Uh, we'll give you the, uh, that adds a little bit of stress. But I think I have stress oil or whatever, right? Actually, the Warrens, are they... No, they're they're mostly animals and stuff. They're not so much Eldritch. I thought I had stuff for you, but maybe I don't. I 
I guess they don't blight very well, so I'm going to have to, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just have a lot of empty spaces. Alright. So I think we're good. Pull. We don't need you to heal. Alright. Looking good. Provision time. So we're here on a quest. Just make sure I'm... Yeah, I'm doing the right one. Uh, so we got some free food, but not a whole lot. Not terrible, though. Got a free shovel from bringing the uh, grave digger. And let's get the rest of these provisions up. Mostly uh, keys and herbal. Uh, but the rest are fine. Some cleansing and torches. Done. The swine draw power from their horrid markings and crude idols. Tear them down. So I don't know where these idols are, but I hope I find them quickly. Dinner cart. Uh, gross. But if I wanted extra food, I could cleanse it with the herbs. Finding the stuff is only a lot of extra test. food. Now it must be carried home. Up oh, there's a shrine. All right, pulling their little vomiter. Uh, he's vomiting anyway. Good, I dodged it. I don't really want to get a whole lot of diseases, so the idea is to kill off Mr. Uh, vomit quickly. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Devastating blow. Nice. Unfortunately, the swine tar likes to be in the back, and I kind of put him there. So that's my fault. He does big moves in the back row. Uh, let's see. I guess comfort. Ooh, nice crits. The limbs obey. And again, put the swine tar in the wrong spot. I'm going to hex... Lower that protection, and... Oh, he's doing a trot retreat. Yeah, he's going for a big hit now. Alright, so with you, you do extra damage if they're marked. Wow, that's not a whole lot of damage, though. Uh, maybe I can just pull you to the front. Probably can't stun him, so I'm going to go trying to stun the other one. Good. It worked. And Pierce is probably what I want to hit the Swine Tar with, given his protection. He's kind of broken. He keeps trying to retreat, but he's as back as back gets. that damage. Damage was so high, you made your allies happy. Ah, oh, you can stun me, that's fine. Everyone's fully healed. Ain't no matter to me. Because you're dead. Give them no quarter. So I have no room for any of this. Uh, gonna throw out some food and throw out my aunt to venom and I'll use my firewood. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Okay, so let's see. Four battles, armor piercing. That could be good. Um, scout chance would be great. No, maybe I don't need scout chance. 
accuracy for battles. Hmm. All right, let's do the armor piercing. And then the minus stress. Minus stress. And we have five left. Nighttime ambush would be okay. I'll take it. So I'd rather take... What do I want here? Some self-stress. Oh, man. And... A cultist isn't going to be religious, I don't think. Uh, we'll just do... Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay, and rest. The Kinda way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, one shrine down. We didn't get an ambush. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Otherworldly... Ha, ah, you're surprised. Well, well, you're surprised, but <laughs> still can't hit you. Ah, uh, yes, I can. That was nasty. Ooh, that's deep bleed. That lasts a long time. Not a whole lot of damage, but it's a long duration to be bleeding. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right. What can I do here? Stab. Nope. Wow, your accuracy is 95% and you keep missing. You're just trolling me, aren't you? Now that fight's over. Virtue chance, sure. Oh, that's for Vestal only. Alright, let's give it to the Vestal then. Uh, some food for us and some Onyx. Sure, I'll take the onyx. Use some bandages, and then reset party order. Oh, another animalistic shrine. This is really good. I'm able to get rid of some of my pickaxes quickly. Uh, which is great, because they take up uh, a lot of the precious inventory space. And hey, maybe I'll be able to find some mar? Right, looks like I'm headed east. Whoa, that pack had a lot of loot. Sorry, journal. Just not high up on the list of things to grab. What is going on with you, Lucy? You are missing everything. You've not hit a target in a long time, and it's pissing me off. Uh, let's see. Stun... The one that can be stunned. Cool. One stun and done. Uh, here's some stress. And a whole lot of bleeding. Gotta say, Pick to the Face does an underwhelming amount of damage. Uh, so, Vitalis is a Twilight Dreamer and can hit people that are uh, invisible. So I'm definitely going to use that to my advantage. Right, there we go. He's dead. No, 
it's just you, Mr. Bloodletter. Unforgiving. Cranking out that uh, stress whip. Stupid. Whatever, can't do anything about that. All right, so this is armor piercing, but does 15% less damage. This does 10% less damage. This is 33, and this debuffs them, blights them, and then we can just kill them. Okay. Do I want this gold or not? Uh, sure. I'll use a bandage. I'm probably going to run into curios that need cleansing with bandages now, but at least I use the bandages and not threw them out like I do in some of my other runs. Alright, so someone's really good at scouting. Okay, definitely got to take out their backline quick, meaning you're going to miss, aren't you? Uh, partial miss. Precision and power. All right, so he's gonna make someone go crazy. Oh, all of us. I don't know what you said, but apparently it scared me. Uh, seriously? Oh, cause they're invisible. Bummer. Well, I have a Twilight Dreamer here, so your little invisible scheme ain't gonna work very long. But everyone keeps missing the madman. Kinda pissing me off. I don't. Dead man man. He's dead. Alright, so all of our damage over time is gone. Eradicated. And that's the most I've seen Pick do in a while. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I don't mind resistance mounting. I can handle it. Wealth beyond measure. All right, I don't think that's enough gold to warrant ditching something for it. Good, they're surprised, even though my light level's not maxed. I actually managed to hit something there. That is also equally surprising. Let's try to... Nah, I'm gonna stun one of them. No, their stun resist is pretty high, so I'm just gonna try to snipe. Mr. Drummer in the back. There we go. Drummer's dead. Now it's just the corpse eaters that will try to munch me. Try, but to fail. Well, somewhat fail. Got a little blighted, but that's okay. Man, I've been dodging up a storm. All right, can we stab? Yes, we can. Okay, so now I actually have to make some decisions here about stuff to ditch. So I know I'm gonna use a torch. Uh, these emeralds are already stacked up higher than a stack of gold. This is 2K onyx and, um, well, I think the obvious choice here is to use the Antivenom. Um, and then use the Holy Water. I'm sure I'll regret it. And then... Ditch a stack of food. I'm probably not going to end up eating more than 12. Thanks, game! Game's like, oh, you ditched food, did you? Well, guess what? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna make you eat. Alright, so the... 
Oh, good. It's just loot. I was about to say the, uh... Oh, good. We can also get rid of... We're done. I'm gonna keep exploring, obviously. But, um... The cleansing, uh, holy water we used up right before we needed it. That's how it goes. But we have more than enough supplies to explore a lot more of this, uh, this deer dungeon here. So I'm gonna go do that. Oh, they laid a trap in my way. Cute. 100% disarm. I'm down with that. Thanks for the 3 8 stress relief. I've also scouted out a lot of the other traps around. So, just more stress relief as far as I'm concerned. Now, at this point, I'm sort of just chasing curios, and there seems to be quite a lot up ahead. Getting a whole lot of crests out of this. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I like how my task performed is uh, looting, and the reward is a torch. I would not say it's handsome, but whatever. Okay, so drums of doom are probably more annoying than the uh, vomit. Good. They are both dead. Oh, that is just perfect RNG damage right there. Uh, let's try to judge snipe the corpse eater. Nope, not quite. Didn't actually expect it to go and happen. Death by and I'm stunned. No, I dodged. Fantastic. They're dead. Good. I got another emerald to Remind stack up. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think at this point, I don't have enough to explore to warrant the extra torches. Uh, dinner cart. Speaking of food, let's, I guess, get a bunch more. I don't know. Oh my god, that's a lot of food. Are often low on supplies. I don't see any path blockers, so I am going to ditch shovels for this, because food I can... Oh, it's barely worth anything, though. Let's just say there's some regret involved, but whatever. If I run into something that needs a shovel, y'all can call me an idiot. Um, hmm. Ho-hum. Ditching my herbs, too. Am I going to scout? No. Nope. Alright, I'm going to walk this hallway blind. And I'm going to backtrack now, because there's a wall of stone up ahead. It's like the game knows just, just what to do to mess with me. Alright, what's your disarm? Sucks, sucks, 100%. And, alright. Again with the grave robber. Nimble fingers. In radiance, may we find victory. Alright, so now I actually know what's that way. Some bones. What were these again? I can't cleanse them, but... Oh, it could give me a disease. You know what? I'm gonna skip these now. battle. Good. Surprised. Means I can take out that marcher quick. Ooh, that's a good hit. Marcher's dead.
I don't know why I did that, but whatever. In the long run, it shouldn't matter that much, because fight's over. It was just a misclick. Alright, don't have space for that stuff. I don't have any bandages. Uh, what could go wrong if I loot the rack of blades with no bandages? Bleeding. Okay, well, let's make the bleeder already bleed Mauer. Oh, she resisted. Okay, I think, um... No, I'll just, I'll just keep going. There's, there's a little bit more I haven't explored. And I've got the food, and I've got the torches. I might as well. I've been using up a lot of gold to uh, upgrade my my heroes here, and whenever I do a run like, oops, I totally blanked that there was a trap there. Uh, whenever there's a, a chance to get a little bit more gold out of a run, I might as well take it because I've got some food and some torches that just aren't going to make me money, and even a bunch of keys. And you never know. Sometimes exploring like this, you could scout out a secret room or something. You know, it could be really beneficial. Or just get some more gold. Or run into a madman that's gonna kick your, uh, your stress up. You never know. As long as we don't miss him, this madman should be alright. Alright, yeah, the madman's dead. What I can't could do is game the light level system, given that I have three torches left. Whoa, Vitalis, you've taken some heat. Obliterated. Great is the weapon that comes. I don't know if I did that in time. Something tells me I didn't. The light, the promise of safety. All right. I wasn't expecting uh, the abyssal artillery to kill it. Darn, my most wounded person hit by trap. Alright, so this is the last room I'm going to explore. There's nothing here, so let's complete. So, for a medium, that wasn't bad for collected treasure. That will definitely fund. We got Lagophobia. Um, Meditator, Ruins Explorer. Okay. Bunch of people leveled up. Got some Resolve XP as a result. Got a bunch of level 3s to level 4. The twisting tunnels no and the if I go back into the warrens, we do more damage. So taking a look at the warrens here, we did just trigger a boss, so that's perfect. Uh, Grave Robber. Oh, that's a pretty good... Uh, how would she need more Trap Disarm? She's already at 100%. But that's actually a really nice talisman to kill the Swine King. Uh, but that's probably going to be next episode, because I'm just about out of time. So what I'm going to do before I end this one is to put people into treatment. Um... That need treatment. And... Unequip the trinkets. And sort by rarity. Take a look at the stagecoach, because you never know. Nope. Maybe take a look at the wagon. Meh. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's pretty good, but it's not worth the price. I don't really have enough crystals to warrant buying anything there. Uh, I do have some heirlooms to upgrade. So let's see. Is that worth almost all my deeds? I'm not sure. Is that worth... 
Okay, yeah, let's let's go spring for a fully upgraded blacksmith in and every plan relies fully upgraded guild rather and one more to blacksmith. Uh, as far as blueprints go, I do have two. I've been saving up. Bank would be pretty good, but I'm that many portraits is tough to come by. I'd have to start saving. Um, the granary has been real useful, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to build anything. Well, guys, uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. I think, or I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, probably going against the Swine King, given that we have that buff to damage against the Swine King. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line, and I do hope that you tune in next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Adios.